Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Lancer Custom Works, where I will be discussing the various mech builds you could make and play with Lancer. Orcus, has a shield, Orcus, is an alt frame of Black Witch, but instead of being as tough as the original, Orcus decided to impart this defense onto its allies instead, with perfect parry to make any missed attack miss completely, almost like it's telling Assault to fuck off, and Royal Guard lets it work as the most mobile defender frame in the entire RPG, so even speedy allies could enjoy its protectiveness without needing to slow down. In fact, with speed 5, it's gonna be quite hard to outrun the Orcus, and I haven't even mentioned its core passive and power, letting it knock out everything on the battlefield and render the target unable to use reaction, so even Archer is not going to have a good time. In the following 40 builds, as Orcus is an alt frame of Black Witch, it too shares the rest of the license with it, and you will see a lot of magnetic cannon, ferrous lash, and perimeter command plate instead of the rest because Orcus enjoys forced movement of any kind due to its core passive, but it doesn't mean you won't see the rest of the license as Orcus can still utilize them to guard its allies. As for the roles, as I have already mentioned, Orcus is a very mobile defender, one that can be easily built for any other side roles too, so we gonna start this off with the most common of Orcus builds, the defender controller builds. AMX011FS-2 Gundam Feedback is a Fomorian Houseguard Orcus that's basically what you could expect of the Orcus, using the widened effect radius of Argonaut and Black Ice to protect its allies from anything, and when they move, it moves too, and that's not all, with Ferris Lash plus both Thumper and Jaeger rounds from Walking Armory, you can easily knock anything away right into a wall, and if all else fail, just ram. Just because I'm in a duel doesn't mean you're safe is a half cobalt houseguard exemplar orcus that's exactly about its name, even when it's locking an enemy out with exemplar, this orcus still can move other people and explodes the terrain around them because those don't count as attack, being able to create cover on demand with slag cannon to smash people's face into is also a very good idea. In fact, there's actually quite a few synergy between cobalt and orcus due to this, like in this build where right after shooting a slag cover, it combos with a stub cannon to knock enemy right into the slag to trigger its core passive, adding in stasis bolt and stasis generator, and Orcus could quickly become real annoying. Pinball Battlefield instead focused on a drone commander Orcus, one that uses Tempest to turn the battlefield into pinball as if bouncing enemies with shield wasn't enough, comboing this with Spaceborn also works quite well as enemies get even more vulnerable to all the knockback after smashing them with the warp hike. Amidst Razor Winds is also another drone commander Orcus now with Hive Drone to cut people up and for hiding within, and if anyone discover you, Infiltrator will make their short life hell. Using some Zheng's license also work, as shown here with the Pinball Wizard with America's ass, which used TSS-1 to throw rock everywhere to knock back enemies or make cover to ram them into it with Titanomachy, having SMN also lets it deal with foes of any size, Horo S1 here also works well at making enemies walk into wall, especially with Orcus's somewhat decent sensor range. Tech Support is a houseguard Orcus that takes full advantage of the talent to make Black Ice and Scorpion even better, making even hostile tech attackers sweating heavily, Mag Shield and other damage reduction systems also combo with Houseguard 3, allowing you to give the pain back to the attacker. Behold, the most basic knot which is a simple houseguard exemplar Orcus that just wants to get close to smack the enemies hard into a wall with its big stick and big iron, with flash and spike charges for some control, plus reactive weave to get out of dodge when things get too spicy. Did you know Orcus's core power has efficient tag so it can use it in every scene, so here's I like UST, G, with universal compatibility to take full advantage of it, effectively getting massive recovery every time it activates its core power, false idol with Horo S2 is also very good at protecting your allies against enemy with low systems, plus with open door, you get a save target so high, anything you do with it is going to be very annoying. Lastly, there's the Burning Spire, a Orcus with one painful trick, immobilize its target with Pharaoh Lance, and use Shock Knife with Shock Wreath to burn and blind them, preventing them from attacking anyone else at all, they can still hit you, it's written right here, but with 16 evasion and active camo, they gonna need a lot of luck. There's even Pinning Spire so even enemy you can't hit will still succumb to this by using flash charges, even works against Ultra too. And that's all on the Defender Controller builds, as expected of being an alt frame of Black Witch, Orcus already comes with a plethora of controlling systems, making it very good at this aspect, 
plus it wants as much knockback and forced movement as it can anyway, it makes its job real easy. Anyway, let's get going with the Defender Striker build next. Polomo seems like the very image of what people expect when looking at the Orcus's art, a Warpike wielding close quarter monster with SMN, Titanomachy, and Juggernaut for all the powerful ramming that can still both protect its allies well and dominate its enemies by controlling their movement, that said, because you need one point in Nelson to get the Warpike, there actually isn't that many Orcus build that uses it despite its artwork. Also, Helion, counts a special ram attack, which means it works with Titanomachy so you can combo into another ram or just grapple. Red Cyclone do one thing and one thing very well, smashing people with its fists. With full TSS systems plus SMN, Titanomachy, and Juggernaut, plus with Unicomp, even if it takes a really bad hit, it can get a second win very quickly. The good ol' sword and board is one of the three Terrace Hima Orcus in this video, with JK2 for duel that can also knock the loser back, adding Croil Rifle to chase down its prey and stub cannons for even more knockback, this is one dangerous Orcus to face in battle. Here's another one called, My Honor Isn't Gone, it's teleporting, which of course have all the fold knives so good luck putting it down while it's teleporting and cutting up everything, add in Hunter and Skirmisher, this is one mobile Orcus. Becca, Trip M Up, is another Titanomachy Juggernaut SMN Siege Ramming Orcus that like to smash up everything with its thermal charged chain axe, and when unwanted things get too close, you have a shotgun. Concerned Corsair is one of the more slightly defensive Defender Striker Orcus of this video, slightly, with a Houseguard Argonaut Shield and Mag Shield, but it can still move 16 spaces with Pankrathy before chopping something in half, plus Black Ice is here, making it harder to be invaded. Imperial Shadow is one of the more sneaky Striker Orcus, that can also turn invisible to make hiding very easy and very lethal, reminder that Infiltrator can also make your target unable to use reaction, so combine that with everything this Orcus has, nobody on the other side can do reaction anymore. My love, my anger, and all of my sorrow is a Lucifer Orcus that provides active defense by shooting anything that gets too close with Vanguard, also, remember how Helion is a special ram attack that cannot miss, well, with Siege Ram and Lucifer when in danger zone, it's now a special unmissable ram attack that can deal up to 18 goddamn damage, and if the target still isn't dead somehow, you have Plasma Gauntlet. 1 million teeth is a Seekomet Orcus, if you are in the middle of protecting an ally, do not press that cat shape button unless you want to fail at your duty, otherwise, go murder shit I guess. And finally, there's Erupting Burning Finger, good god how many times I made this joke already, is another Lucifer Orcus build that you can basically do anything I already said in the previous Lucifer build, but now with deep well so you can plasma gauntlet without immediately dying. And that's all on the defender striker builds, because a combination of staying with your allies to protect them and then beating the shit out of anyone that do try to hurt them works every time, especially with a big shield. Now, let's get going with the last category, the defender support builds. If wonder of you is a Sisyphus Orcus that tries to manipulate probability in any way possible, including withheld image spotter combo to provide all the accuracy, which, with Royal Guard, means that Orcus could always aid its allies even on the move, almost like it's a goddamn stand. Thermopylae in Omotia works in similar fashion, with an addition of Leader for even more support, plus Enclave Shield and Scorpion for plenty of defense, along with Autopod to take advantage of all the lock-on. Here's even more held image spotter Orcus because nobody now needs to stop moving, Backseat Striker instead combines that with Scylla, Monitor, and Vorpal Gun for all the reaction fires to put down its foes, effectively working like a mini Gorgon. Fata Morgana is an Orcus build for one thing, get that LBOC cloaking field up, here's one weakness of the cloaking field, it shuts down if you get stunned, or take damage, which with Orcus immunity to reliable damage, that's going to happen a lot less often, however, it slows, so Royal Guard is not going to work and you will want artillery allies to take full advantage of the data you provided with Athena. Bring Me the Horizon is a half Sunzi Orcus because Royal Guard isn't mobile enough, while you escort one of your allies, the rest can move right behind you through the blink tunnel you have created, and this build still has more Sunza systems plus Pancre T to cover the whole map with ease. I also would like to talk about Bard Damage, which looks like a typical Orcus build except it has Accelerate, and guess what, moving allies through Accelerate still counts as movement for Royal Guard, so even slow ally won't restrict Orcus's mobility now. Finally, of course I have to get this one in, this is Royal Limousine, a Fomorian battle taxi Orcus so while you carried half the team on your back, another can stay besides you and move to get you moving fast, 
plus a cable winch to move more things but keep in mind you will be slowed when using it, add in house guard and argonaut shield, and your allies will stay alive thanks to you. And that's all on the defender support builds, real easy to make considering how good Orcus is at supporting and defending its allies, plus having 8 base system points just let you shove everything in. And that's all 40 Orcus builds finished, once again, I would like to thank my viewers for submitting their builds for this episode, I kinda have been waiting for this one for a while, as soon as I looked at Orcus art, I knew I'm going to love it, the fact that it's almost as mobile as Nelson makes it even better, and of course, the builds for it are quite good for those that prefer a more mobile defender, anyway, here's the topic for the next episode, no not the Everest, it's older big brother. That's all for now, and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.